concerned. Alright, so, like I was saying before, this is the second part of the first video I made where I'm actually running the wire inside this airline. As you can see, this was originally what it looked like. The goal is to get it back like that as well. So, as you see right now, um, I have it greased up in here so the line will be able to slide in uh, freely inside if you need to make any adjustments with it. And it's going to be up inside here. And what's going to wind up happening is the, most of the, the part that everyone's curious about is how is it going to connect to the back of the truck or the trailer. So, as you can see now, I got it all the way in. It's greased on one side. I'm going to make it so you'll be able to pull it straight through from one end to the other end. And you won't have so much slack of wire up one end. Uh, Alright, and the way this is going to sit, this is the wooden block. It's going to be, I got these clamps. The clamps is going to mm. hold both airlines like this on the back of the block here. Make sure you understand that. Move your hand off the camera. And make sure uh, the back of the block right here is where I'm going to have big magnets. Not these little tiny ones. They're going to be big magnets. They're going to be back here. So on the back of the tractor, it's going to be pushed on here, or the trailer rather, with the wire down here. And on the back of the truck, it's vice versa. It's the same way. So you can either magnetically connect it to the back of the cab of the truck, or it'll be magnetically just sitting down where the catwalk is at, wherever you want to put it. Uh, once again, these are the cameras, and also a fail-safe feature for the cameras, because I had someone ask me about with the vibration and stuff, if the thing's gonna fall off. So I went and bought a Ryobi hot glue gun, battery operated. So it's gonna sit on the side of the trailer. And for your reinsurance that with the vibration and stuff, wherever you mount it, you're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on it with the magnet and just sit it where it's at. And when it dries, it'll be done and you don't have to worry about it falling off. Of course, hot glue, you can still rip it off. So you ain't gotta worry about pulling off. Just if you got a truck with vinyl or something like that, don't put it on their vinyl equipment. You wanna make it so there's no damage to their personal equipment. And that's it for that part of the video, and I'll get back up with y'all for the rest of the build. Hit stop. This? Yep. Alright, I'm back. Back to uh, the continuation of this uh, long tiring project. Hopefully it's going to work, as theory. Uh, so remember those wooden blocks I was talking about? Yeah, as you can see right here, this first line right here was a test dummy. You see how that one turned out? And that was the second version of it. Big difference, how huh? Me butchering one and how clean that one is. But this is how I was looking at it as far as the block. So I was trying to explain this to everybody. It's kind of hard to visualize it without actually seeing it. So these lines right here that you see hanging, that you see hanging, this part right here would actually magnetically connect to the back of the trailer. Uh, this line here is adjustable right now. I just got a couple zip ties in here because I don't know the exact length of the truck that I'll probably be getting. But I'm zip tying it up and as you can tell there will be plenty of slack. It's just like your airlines or electrical lines. And I'm going to have magnets on the back of here with the safeguard of a little uh, glue on the back of it that's gonna come off real easy what I mean by glue I mean bringing me something like this a little portable Ryobi battery you know drill thing like that right there uh, bring this with me I would just put you know next to the magnets that's already down well when I get the magnets on there you know right in the bottom of each end put a dab on both ends magnetically mounted to the back of the magnetically back of the trailer and the other end on the back of either the uh, cab of the truck or wherever like I said right now all of this is just still in the rough this is still the rough phase right now I haven't got it completely done yet but all 
Yeah, all of this is just a quick detachment. So that's that's the whole point of this right here. It got to be quick accessible, and you don't want to be able to. You don't want to damage any uh, anybody's vehicle or their trail or anything. And being able to see is something I don't understand why no one in, in the market has really thought of something like this for tractor trailer drivers. I've looked at the wireless cameras that you put on there. That's a lot. They they BS. Any interference with those, it, it just throws the signal off. And on top of it, you have to tap into the electrical wiring of the actual tractor or the trailer. Which, once again, if it's not your equipment, you're not going to be cutting any wires into it. So, like I said, this is what it's looking like so far. And let me see where the camera at. Uh, so you can get an idea. And I said, once I get a truck or something... Once I get a truck, I'm going to give you more videos to show you, you know, the connectivity of what it looks like. But the articulating part of the truck was the part that everyone was asking me about that. I think I pretty much solved. But like I said, this would be a lot cleaner. But from starting a project that don't exist, I think I did a pretty good job here. All right, I'll get back with y'all in the next video when I start magnetically putting it on a truck in a trailer and seeing if it actually works. All right.